So what is, what are the deliverables? Well, basically it's a presentation that the architect gives to a client in which they explain all the thought process behind uh, in order to arrive to a final result. In here you can find to whom this project is directed to. It gives you a little bit more information about the demographics in order for you to understand what kind of people is going to be using this uh, this project because of course it's not the same to project a high-end restaurant in a business district rather than a fashion cafe in downtown so it's basically all the information that explains why this is project done in here uh, you can find as well for example the divisions of the how is the areas divided how are the areas divided and uh, possible configurations of these areas. A really good uh, thing that we can find, a uh, really good information that we can find here is all the technical information about the objects that are going to be in this uh, project. And here as well you can find different uh, design proposals, color palettes, uh, material information, and about the material information here, well, I mean, this is not precisely what I told you about, but I mean, this is a really good start process for you to understand more or less what, uh, what kind of textures that are going to be used in the project. Here, for example, we have marbles, we have goods, we have ceramics. And therefore, you can start to understand where to look for all this information for creating your uh, assets. And here as well, you can see the objects that the uh, architect proposed for the different spaces. And here as well, you can start uh, understanding more or less how much time you will need for this project. In this case, what I mean is understanding if you have several objects already in your library that you can use, or if not, you need to create them or buy them. Talking about buying objects, we have a few different web pages that you can find really good material for your usage. In this case, we have Evermotion. Well, Evermotion, uh, if you get to the shop, here you can find different models, either in library, in collections, or individual things. So just, I don't know, let's look for a plant. A plant. So here you can find a lot of already shaded objects for your scenes, for your assets. You can look as well for TurboSquid. TurboSquid as well is a really good platform in which you can find uh, really good assets for your scenes. I don't know, let's look for cars. There you go. I mean, of course, the prices are a little bit high, but you can have really good assets in here. And there are many times in which they are used for visual effects movies. And the last one is 3D Sky. Well, here you can find materials, you can find objects, and about the material, well, here you can find shaders, you can find textures. In different render engines, such as Corona in this case. Well, Going back to the presentation, the different you can find here the different uh, proposals of the client that the architect gives to the final client, and of course some um, reference renders. That is, all these reference renders that the architect already did. They are basically just for your information. Here you can more or less understand what kind of furniture you are looking for. Basically, the organization, how, how the distribution of the different furniture that is going to be used inside. My suggestion is just to use these as references for your final images. And that's it.